Hello guys today we will create the smoke part. Let's start from where we left off. So this was the debris cache source. Take a delete node and delete the 50% points. Go to the random tab and turn on enable. In the entity select points. Take a trail node. In the result select calculate velocity. If you turn on you will see incorrect velocity. To fix this we need to turn on match by attribute. Now we need to copy this wrangle node in which we have calculated the age. We need to add one line of code here. Write this in the end. We are creating density attributes based on the age that we have calculated above. Now take a trail node. Now take an attribute wrangle node. Write this code here. We are assigning one attribute name and we will keep track of the points that this point is the starting of the primitive. Here instead of a trail, we will create our node. Delete it and duplicate this wrangle node. Here keep the end value to 1. Add this code here. We are moving the points to their previous frame based on their velocity data. Now if I click on create spare parameter, and increase the value, you can see the points are moving back to its previous position. Now merge both of them. Since we already have an ID attribute, we can connect both the points using the add node. Take an add node. Go to the polygon tab and click on by group. In the add select by attribute. Now write ID here. Currently, the source is extremely straight. We will add some noise here and blend using the end attribute. Take a rest node. Here we have only two points. We need to add more points. Take a resample node. Set the length value to 0.01. Take a point jitter node. Bring down the scale value to 0.08. Now add a wrangle node. Here we will use the lerp function to blend from 0 to 1 using the end attribute. Here we will use rest data, current position, and the end attribute. Now if we see, it is smoothly blended. Take an attribute noise node. First, we need to delete the color attribute. Here in the attribute noise node, we need to use the older version of the node. To get this asset bar, go to assets, asset manager, Configuration, Asset Definition Toolbar, Show Menu Always. Now from here, you have to choose an older version. Set the mode to multiplicative. In the signature set it to 1D. In the attribute select density. Visualize the density. Now turn on the remap noise. Set the minimum to 0.2 and the maximum to 1.2. Set the element size to 0.5. Now add the volume rasterize attribute node. In the attribute select density. Set the particle size to 0.1. Set the voxel size to 
Let's cache it to disk. Take a null node and name it out underscore source. Now we need to make the VDB collision of building and character. We need to take the transform pieces here. Add a null for understanding. We need to take this anime null also. Take an object merge and call in this null. Take a trial node and calculate the velocity. Do the same thing on the building collision as well. Here also we need to delete the backside, so copy the blast node in which we have deleted the backside. Paste the blast node here. Now take a VDB from the polygon node. Click on the plus icon in the surface attribute. Here select point.v from the attribute drop down menu. In the vector type select displacement slash acceleration slash velocity. Copy the VDB node and paste it into the character network. Cache both to disk. Let's add nulls to both of them. Let's create the DOP network. We will use the pyro solver instead of the sparse solver because my sparse is a little bit weak. Let's create the basic dot pyro network. Here we will take smoke object, pyro solver, gas resize fluid dynamics, and three volume source. In the first volume source, select the initialize method as smoke. Select the input as the first context of geometry. Copy the building null node. In building 1, select the initialize method as collision. In the SOP path paste the building null node path. Now here you can see the source volume is named as collision. But in the cache VDB we have a surface. So let's change the name in the DOP. Write surface instead of collision on the source volume. Repeat the same process for the character collision as well. Cool. Now, if we play, you can't see anything. First, let's correct the start frame. Here in the source if you see the smoke start from 37. Let's keep the start frame to 37. Go inside the DOP network and select the smoke object. Go to creation and turn on solve on the creation frame. Now to emit the smoke, we need to set the container to its correct position.
Go to the Properties tab. Right-click on the size parameter. Now click on Reference Scene Data. Now from here, we have to select our Outsource Null node. Now click on Plus icon, expand the bounding box, and select a size. Do the same thing for the center also, but now instead of size, we need to select centroid. Now you can see the smoke is emitting. Now the container is not expanding. To fix this, select gas resize fluid dynamic node. Go to max bound and turn off the clamp to maximum. Now it is expanding, but not fast, since the initial pieces break too fast. We need to animate the padding in the resize node. Let's animate it. You can animate the padding value according to your needs. Now let's play it. Initially, it will look something like this. Go to the pyro solver. Set the time scale to 0.85. We don't need temperature diffusion and cooling rate. Make the value 0. Since we don't have a temperature here, we don't want the smoke to rise high. So let's set the buoyancy direction to minus 1. Reduce the dissipation to 0.01. In the disturbance, we will animate it using the fit range based on the frame. From frame 35 to 55 the value will gradually fall from 1 to 0 0.03. Copy the code and paste it in turbulence. Instead of 1, we will use 0.05 to 0.01. Now go to the disturbance tab. Set the cutoff to 2 and the block size to 0.5. Go to the turbulence tab and set the swirl size to 2. Set the turbulence to 3. Now we need to add a gas to strub microsolver node. Here again, we have to use the older version of the gas disturb node. From the asset menu select the older version. Write the same fit code here. From frame 35 to 55 the value will gradually fall from 0.5 to 0.01. The block size will be 0.2. Now take a DOP import field node. Set the DOP network node. In the DOP node write smoke. In the preset choose smoke. For smoke, we only need density and velocity. Here I tried to compress the volume and convert it to VDB to save the disk space, but it was not working properly. So I have used my HDA, which I will give the link in the description. Take a volume reduce node and connect it. Turn on down res and deactivate the empty voxel. Now let's add the file cache node. Also, make sure to decrease the division size.
cache it to disk. Currently, it has some issues over here, and it is coming due to the bat collision. You can remove the bat and re-simulate it. Without bat, it will be only affected by the building pieces. You can also try increase the subset for better result. Here is the flipbook. Thanks you guys for watching see you in the next video.